Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to uh, tonight's masterclass with the incredible Maxim Vengerov. Um, you might wonder what the life of an international superstar is like as they uh, travel around the world. Um, I think it's probably much like everyone else's, given that when Maxim landed at London City Airport this morning, he stood vainly by the carousel, waiting for his bag to materialise which it didn't. So I'm sure he'll say a few words, but he is looking, as always, elegant, but somewhat more casual than usual tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is always a wonderful pleasure to welcoming, welcome him here. Um, and we have uh, another series of masterclasses throughout the year. Uh, those of you who've been before will know his, his revolutionary masterclasses, concerto masterclasses with the symphony orchestra as well. And we, we will be welcoming him back in February for a Mendelssohn Violin Concerto Masterclass. Um, but we have a, a varied program tonight with Mendelssohn, Beethoven, and Ravel. I'm sure you're in for a treat. Please welcome Maxim Vengerov. Thank you very much for your understanding. <laughs> and uh, Mark, uh, where are you? Yes. OK, there you are. Thank you for warning, so to, to avoid any you know, unpleasant <laughs> eyes here in the audience. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm very glad to be here, at least in one piece. So thank you. Look forward to that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah. You know, this, uh, this morning when I went uh, to the uh, car, uh, the, the driver said to me, asking, him, what about your, uh, is this violin? I said, yes, but, uh, you know, imagine if you checked it in, you know, what would happen? I said, yeah, that's <laughs> great. Anyway, not to steal the show from music.
Well done, both of you. Thank you, thank you. Mi Mira, yeah, Mira. The, uh, some things are just wonderful. Uh, lots of great things. Uh, some of the top notes, beautiful. You know, the way your concentration with music is quite uh, uh, appealing, you know. I, I want to listen to you. I want to look and, 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 and he, uh, listen, and that's great. Uh, your connection with the instrument is beautiful. So, you know, I can talk about many good things. So let's just touch um, and give you some direction here. As I said, you know, the, the, there is a wonderful connection and the relationship of yours with the bow and the violin. I can't say, unfortunately, the same thing about the, your connection and attachment to this music. You know, with Mendelssohn, you have to be one. And I'll explain you what that is, you know. You have to be connected instantly with the color of the music, with the material, not only your material, but also with the orchestral material. Because the violin here in this concerto and in any concerto with the orchestra is like cherry on the cake. And uh, because the orchestra, for obvious reasons, provides the ground foundation, the vertical, as we say, you know, the harmony, rhythm. And you are, you know, you are crowning that, you know, so. And of course, the, uh, the orchestral playing, or at this uh, instant, the, the piano playing, will influence you and must influence you. If you play uh, the same with the piano as you will play with orchestra, it's not correct. Yeah? So one thing you play at home, you practice, then you have a rehearsal with piano, then you, are, you must be a different violinist. And finally, you get to the orchestra and you really perform Mendelssohn Violin Concerto. And on top of that, you know, when there is audience, there is a, this extra spark you're about sharing. And this music is really about sharing. And he, you know, he didn't, uh, uh, what a brilliant idea, just to start, you know, uh, to cut the story short. Let's present a violin concerto. No introduction, no orchestra introduction, no usual stuff. So he only gives, um, do we have a score here? Yeah, okay, so gives only, you know, not even two bars, huh? So that's how exciting that is, yeah? And so you must, uh, coming on, uh, out on stage, you must be so well in music, be prepared totally that, you know, when the conductor raises his hands and all the musicians, they start playing. But you started quite cold. You started exploring the music and you only warmed up, I would say, to the um, second phrase. You notice that probably, yeah, yeah. And th there is a reason for that, because the crucial thing is the um, vital thing here is to pay attention to the phrasing. That's where you guide us. That's where you take us. You take us on a journey. Every phrase with Mendelssohn is like an experience. And because this concerto is so, uh, so much played, you know, we, we heard it for millions of times. So what can you add? You can add your soul, your sound, and everyone has uh, and must have his or her own distinct sound. Like we, when we speak, we have our own uh, sound, yeah? We have our own speech, uh, expression, uh, vibrations. So that must be your connection. You present this concerto. Okay, so let's try that, let's try. And technically, we'll, we'll look at it. Uh, I'd like to hear the, um, the first page once more.
thank you. Thank you very much. You know, some, some elements you love, absolutely love. Some elements you don't like so much, you know? <laughs> How can you not love everything about this theme? Right from the beginning, you have to, it's like diamonds, you know, shaping diamonds. Your, your playing sounds a little bit, I would say, may I say boldly, really fragmented. So instead of building one line, you cut tim poporo pom tiro tiro ro 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 ti tiro. You simplify this music. This is absolutely genius music. It's like looking into horizon. Imagine you are on the sea or in a huge field where you don't see any anything. Just look beyond the horizon. That's what this is about. Translating into our hands, you must really try maintain the same speed of the bow when changing up, down, or down, up with the same intensity. And also paying attention that the vibrato always supports you. It doesn't all of a sudden switches off and on. I want you to stay really in control. So once um, uh, without uh, piano, let's explore. Uh, so I, I want you to be really in control. Let's do the little kitchen here, uh, open kitchen. Okay, I always prefer open kitchen because you never know. <laughs> so, you see, we're so exposed in this theme, so let's make it, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a visit card, right? So. <laughs> So let's present something that you, 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 know, you, you can present something really your strong point as a winning card immediately. I mean, unbelievable, this concerto starts right to the core. Huh? Okay, thank you. Uh, let's think logically. Is that wise to start in the frog here? Yes, but you know, for obvious reasons, yeah, the bow is uh, uh, is not equal. In the frog, it's heavy; the tip is light. So if you play, if you play like the bow plays, then you'll create accent here, and you'll make the diminuendo here. But is that the music? Obviously not. Now, do you think we should start <laughs> like this? No. I think we need to go forward and show the prospects, you know? Where do we go? Where do we go? Direction. It's like an arrow. So, you want to play this uh, original bows? Fine. I don't, ob I, don't, I don't object. It's written like this, although you can interpret in the, uh, like this, this is absolutely legitimate. Uh, so now, if you want to do original Boeings, it's more complicated, and I tell you why. Because you'll have, a, you're risking to give an accent here. So you'll have all this accent. But if you really want to do the hard way, so let's analyze the bow distribution. So the bow is lightest at this point. I suggest we start at the lightest, yeah? Because we come from nowhere. And we aim here, right? Okay, so, and we need to think also. So now if you start here, we kill the phrase. Don't be a musical murderer, please. <laughs> Let's try, yeah? Bow distribution is crucial. Lovely, lovely. You obviously love this note, right? So, and then you, you sort of died. So. See? So 
So once more, I show you slow, slow. No, without, yeah? So. And make sure the, the, uh, the top note, well pronounced. Not too much vibrato, not too little. It's in ingredients, how much you put there. Yeah? Depending on the whole, here you really don't need too much vibrato. In a dry acoustic, you need to add more. Okay, slowly. Right, and this release, there is sadness. There are so many feelings. It goes down. It's for reason, yeah? Because he could have written, but it's not the same. Although it is diminuendo, but still, it's like, like a landscape of a uh, mountain, yeah? But it's very soft, yeah? Slowly, once more. So, first of all, put the finger, yeah, here. Then treat the, you know, think of the right hand as if this is the, your lungs, you know, or wing, wing of the bird. Mm -hmm. Not over preparing, because if you over prepare, also visually, it looks as if you're anxious, yeah? If you're, uh, if you're afraid to miss the string, you know, so. <laughs> no need, yeah? <laughs> okay. Chim pa pa. Ah. Lovely, fantastic. So when you start, chim pa pa, just continue. Just continue. As if you are taking me by the hand and want to show me something. Let's go. See? No, no, no. The, uh, the previous time was much better. Because you, you really, you didn't think much. You didn't think, uh, don't think with the right hand. Think with your heart, breathe music, and then hands will do that. The brain will send you the right, uh, uh, right. You know, you have to have instincts. Yeah. Okay. Once more together. <laughs> Why do you pose here? It's breathing. And I wouldn't even breathe here. I would go straight. Here I would breathe. It sounds the same when you... But it's not the same, yeah? That's one. Mm.
Yeah, that, that, can be, that can be much more dramatic, yeah? Because you, again, very fragmented. You stop. So don't, you know, you shouldn't sound like uh, marching, you know? It's, it's not heroic. I think it's more dramatic, okay? So, uh, please. Uh, sing out, vocalize last note. These accents are more vocalized rather than pushing. Yeah, so just give more ball, huh? Yeah. More ball on this, yeah? Yeah, and also connections between notes. Always think about connection. Music between notes, yeah? So... Mm. I connect everything, yeah? I still create phrasing, but I always connect, yeah? Never stop. Try, yeah? Sorry, sorry. Don't, uh, don't start from the string. See? It sounds choked. Hmm. <laughs> Always with breathing, yeah? Also in the, in the pose, yeah? Yeah. Inside. See, you get uh, twice less amount of sound. Mm. you also to, to work with the right hand uh, to make your fingers more flexible. Look, slow. Mm. the bow. The bow and the hand is one and not something separate. Okay? So it's like using your knees when you go, yeah? We bend them naturally, yeah? So the same thing, yeah? And you will naturally be able to create a better phrasing and connect uh, notes. Slow, please, yeah? Yeah. Lovely, lovely already. Yeah, also here, even though that, that's marcato. Every note, but still soft connection, yeah? From here, lot rom pom pom. Lovely. Yeah, continue, continue. <laughs> yes, yeah, don't stop, don't stop, yeah. So, so, in the frog, use the little finger. Uh. Because if you don't, then the bow will be too heavy and, you see. Mm. So, once more together, team baba, using right hand, connection, and also left hand, the same thing. Using the phalangeal joint, you know, we have to soften everything. 
hands have to be at our disposal to create anything we want. Yeah? Once more. Lum, ba -bum. <laughs> Much uh, more smoother. La -di -di -di. Huh? So. <laughs> Instead of. As if, as if you are dancing with a, a sword, you know, facing yourself. <laughs> Careful, huh? <laughs> La -di -di -di. Once more. Mm. Free, free, and controlled, yeah? Free when you think just think about music, okay? So still connect, yeah. Once more. Let's analyze our dangers here. First of all, the first shift. Is yeah, it's not only the left hand, but also the right hand. You know, if you uh, make the portata here, you see, you, you're, go, you're going to create accent. Legatissimo. Everything with the same speed of the bow. Okay, and then we'll talk about phrasing, yeah? But to start with, we need to sp smoothen everything, yeah? Straight lines, yeah? Yeah, it would be interesting for you to work uh, looking into the mirror, and then you will see that you're speeding with... You see, it's like... Yeah, when we draw a circle here, <laughs> and here is the same. It's not the same, you see? And then we, we change, yeah? Yeah? <laughs> okay, but you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, if you have here a changing of the fingers, then you also make the portata. Now, this is legato, one note, and there are more notes, yeah? That's fine. But relax, relax the elbow. Open, open. Much better, much better. So you need to work on that, yeah? Continue. Yori, together. Lohi. Yeah, straight. Yeah, straight, straight. Okay, Mira, yeah, one, one, more, one more thing. You know, when you go, la da da I feel there are some, are cats allowed here? Cats, I mean, yeah. No, they, no, no, no I don't think so. But what you do, 
<laughs> this shift there. Wow. Wow. Vocalize it. Okay, let, let's review what is happening. You really need to free the second finger. Let's work like this, yeah? Ligatissimo in the right hand. Much better, yes. Yeah. You start uh, shifting slowly, and then towards the shift, you need to accelerate, yeah. Much better, much better, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Vocalize it. Uh, before you shift, you must imagine, you know, how you're going to shift. And then you physically do it. And not just, you know, just doing it, okay? So, uh, from here, uh, continue. See, you have to grow like a flower here. You know, this. Uh, um, there are some filmings that are done in normal speed, but then they speed up, you know? And you see the flower growing fast from... That's what it is, yeah? Don't release the sound, yeah? Much better. Wonderful, wonderful. When you connect everything. You make really, really wonderful music between notes. And then naturally you start creating music and, uh, and uh, showing direction and phrasing. Can we go from... Uh, from here. It's only a bridge, you know? Don't give too much importance here. Don't steal attention from the most beautiful thing. It's la di da da and beyond, because the second subject is more important. And don't make too much music here. You need to be simple. Just glide through as if you're paragliding. Watching beautiful landscapes, yes, yes, absolutely. But going somewhere. Yeah? Enjoy, enjoy every note, every note. Mm. Every note, yeah? Okay, Mira, 
you played it for yourself. Now, now play it for us. <laughs> Share. Share with us. Like singer. Huh? Yes, but of course you don't have enough bow here. You need to save, yeah? Some economics. Show me some economics here. <laughs> Lovely. Mira, but you know, you're playing alone. And it's, uh, it's wonderful to play this alone, but it's more beautiful to play with, with people from the orchestra. And you have here first clarinet and uh, uh, two, two flutes. Take them on board. This is like a quartet. You, you are the leader of this quartet. You are leading, but they're playing with you. Without them, you're incomplete. Okay, so once more. <laughs> And the last note you abandoned because you don't like it. <laughs> you simply don't like it. I would say you hate it. Because you know, after you played so magically, <laughs> you don't deserve my attention. <laughs> don't punish music. Once more. Pam, pam, pam. Pam, pam. Don't play. Breathe and sing. Different color, Co different color of the sky here, la, da, da, with modulation, yeah? Different speed of the bow, different vibrato, different pressure into the string. Yeah? Uh, from, uh, once more, from la, da, 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 ti, da, 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 da. change according to what I hear. I make music together. I don't play just alone, okay? Can we go from here? It's more deep, yeah? More tender. 
Yeah, not aggressive, not aggressive. And uh, you don't go, it's not extrovert, it's introvert, yeah? More intense, yeah? Don't push, speed up the ball. This is the truly a, like a wonderland, you know. You, you opened another dimension, you know, you discovered. And then with sort of the, with the magic umbrella, you descend. To the Mother Earth. Yeah? Something like this, yeah, but there has to be some kind of uh, sense behind this, not just notes, yeah? Continue. Yeah, and we have the phrase vision. Once more. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop. My, my uh, work of the bone. I increase the speed of the bow, and only last moment, if anything, then I give the little pressure into the string, but not before. First comes the speed of the bow. <laughs> Because, yeah, because you know, if you're playing with orchestra, you will not be heard. More earthy. Yeah? Uh, so, um, from here. So, this is kind of. Uh, instead of. Uh, it's as if you're walking like this. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Much better, much better. Look, I wish we could continue, but maybe another time, okay? Thank you.
Shall we do a couple of minutes breather? Okay, a couple of minutes. So.
and uh, Kumi-san, bravo. Uh, wonderful rendition of the uh, first movement. I think what we'll do now, uh, we'll work on it a little bit, and then if we have time, we'll move on, yeah? Into the second movement. I think the, the, the difficulty here with, the, with Ravel, but especially with this first movement, which stands apart even from that sonata, yeah, it's so different. It has almost, you know, like a, no connection, no spiritual connection to that. It's like a universe in itself. And we must understand that this music is, it's so pure. Uh, and it's beyond our, uh, it's beyond our human desires, uh, beyond our understanding of time beyond the coloring that we have seen, uh, beyond every, anything, our dreams, our hopes, our uh, thoughts. I think it's, we have to raise ourselves, and together with you both, we should uplift, you should uplift the audiences here. It's unique music, absolutely. It's like very, co it's like cosmic music, absolutely that almost has no gravity, right? You notice sometimes, yeah? And the, the way the themes and the, the way the material interacts with one another, you should try and get as closer with your instrument to each other, more so than with Beethoven, with Mozart, with anything like this, because we must really understand here and forget for, you know, whatever, you know, this uh, six, seven minutes, you know, this movement is, for this duration of this movement, we must forget who is playing what. That you're a violinist and uh, Kumi is a pianist. We must be really, uh, must dive with you into the, this paradise of sounds, of vibrations. We must definitely feel uplifted with you. Okay, so how do we achieve that? Yeah? Easier said than done, of course. Yeah? Uh, to start with, we try to create a longer lines without any interruptions. And we try to do, uh, to start with, the minimum what, what is in our power today, yeah? what we can change today. On each harmony, each changes of the harmony, uh, as, and here, definitely, the piano guides us, yeah? It, it's a leader. Like in most of the sonatas with Beethoven, yeah? This son his sonatas have been written for piano and violin, yeah? So the violin is sort of cherry on the cake. Yeah, but here is more so because you, you totally depend on the color of the instrument, piano. And it's so, it's so difficult to imitate for you to, you know, for you to imitate uh, Kumi playing on the piano, and for Kumi to imitate more singing nature of the violin. So we, we have to find these synergies that would work uh, in favor of the music, 
and will not show the difference here. In this music is only harmony. Uh, there's, of course, some playfulness and uh, some earthy moments, which we'll talk about it, when we must sort of descend back to earth. But predominantly, this is, these are the highest spheres of uh, heaven here. That's what we're talking about. Let's go. On the other hand, Ravel, as he was, he was a very concrete human being. You know? If he would write legato, it's legato. If he would write a dot, it's a dot. If it's uh, uh, any markings, you must respect. If it's accent, it's accent. And not two different ones. For instance, as you start, you must treat it as a really as a dog. You know, he was very dogmatic in his writing. And so on. Yeah? So let's let's try to explore uh, this beauty, but also this precision. We need the cosmic precision, yeah. So when something changes, it has to be uh, it has to be really placed formally there and introduced. Uh, so more concrete and more poetic. So these are the sort of the uh, totally the different different, uh, yeah. Contrast. Let's do. Let's go. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm sorry. La da 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 di 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 da 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 di di la da 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 da. Yeah, longer, longer phrase. Don't stop. La da 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 di 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 da 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 da. Yeah, but uh, no, not not the uh, sort of uh, pressing the like you know you see uh, you see the stars yeah sorry sorry can we have no accent the da 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 The trouble here with the uh, with with this movement, yeah. If one note is out of place uh, in uh, in dynamics or slightly stronger or slightly weaker, it immediately you fall out of this of the universe, yeah, of this planet, which we would call today Ravel. Okay, it is a Ravel universe, and his. Uh, Understanding and his dimension on which he was uh, he was uh, breathing, if you want. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no crescendo. So these accents they must not be prepared. It's easy. These semi quavers, they're not equal. Mm -hmm. See, if you play the first one, you fall out of. And this is, in a way, this is like Mozart, the precision of Mozart. The elements must, you know, be, you know, like two diamonds shaped. They're still different, of course, they are. And they're, you know, from, depending from which. Uh, point you look according to the sun, yeah, yes, but they're they're equal, equal. Huh? Uh, continue. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, lovely, lovely. You see, yoga, do go, do go, do go, do go, do go. This is the Ravel that loved so much the motto. You know, 
he loved you know all this uh, uh, mechanics he loved mechanics trains and everything to do with that you know from when he was a child already you know he liked to construct this you know and that you must have that always and this comes in the uh, finale it is this kind of mechanics are in bolero Imagine if you play I think he would if he would be in the uh, audience or in the rehearsal he would totally you know he would kill you <laughs> right away <laughs> yes <laughs> and that scientific precision that's the, that's a real it's amazing art created by human beings I mean what a genius yeah and still must be done with the ease and uh, uh, should be uh, liberté, yeah? So, freedom. Within, within this, you must find your own freedom. But tight frame, incredibly tight frame. Okay, enough of me talking, I'll let you play. <laughs> Let's explore right from the beginning. Please, Kumisan, once more. is a very uh, must be a uh, sort of uh, that's a, it's a from different from different galactic if you want different elements you should treat them in different ways uh, can we go from that director more speed of the bow can we can we distinguish the functions of the right and left hand? This is like the... This is artist, artist. This is the worker. Also, when you play the short notes, uh, don't shoot them out, so to see. Yes. Mm. And I always listen to the piano when I hold the long note. One ear is is always with Kumi. Yeah? So this ear. Left. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, you're too musical here. It's a different kind of musical, yes? It's a cosmic art, yeah? You should play this movement with distance, with distance. Because if you play, if you're involved, it's a different, uh, it's more earthy, mm -hmm. it's more human. Mm -hmm. yeah. With a tie, if you would wear one, yeah? <laughs> Actually, your, your dress is very appropriate for that. <laughs> yes, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and both of you, yeah? Yeah. Black. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I'm going to be very picky. You're going to hate me in the end. But I want to fit your semi-quavers. Ta-ta, this two. Directly in yakatakatakata, directly says yakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatakatak
Heaven, you know, gardens of Eden. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, fresh air, breeze, fresh breeze, you know, every perfection. No gravity, you know, none of this, none of this phrasing, you know, classical phrases. No. Yes, climax, yes. But uh, you're observing. You're observing. More speed of the The piano stops, for instance, yeah? So here, for instance, so you, re you must be reactive, yeah? Um, once more for... I forgot the music already, yeah? Long time I haven't played it, yeah? So, but you, you get the idea, yeah? yeah. Once more, please. Yeah. Climb graciously to the mountain from here. Mm. The distribution of the bow. Uh, None of the flicking with the right hand. Mm. And continue. Yeah, Lord. Stairs again to to a, another dimension. And then this is the place where the like eternal love 
in the unconditional love. Yes, yes. This is also in the end. Yeah. It's just magic moments, yeah? So, wonderful, yes? Uh, can we go from... We need to find yet this uh, pure sound, you know? So... Like Adam and Eve, <laughs> that's this movement, yes. Although you, you're two Eves here, of course, yeah? <laughs> but, you know, violin and piano, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you understand what I mean, yeah? <laughs> Good, yeah. continue. <laughs> When you finally, uh, so, you see, when you finally climb to the on top of the mountain, you observe, you know, as if you have lived thousand lives. That sort of feeling you must have on top. Yeah? 
This is beautiful. Now, guys, you're much more connected and you're listening to each other. Now it's happening. I'm very happy. We can go on. Okay, blues now. Yes. Now, again, that, it's not that, uh, that kind of blues that you expect. You know, you go to jazz club and you listen to real blues. It's again, Ravel said that about uh, the blues. It's just another work by French composer, me, using the elements of blues. It's French music again, yeah? So, again, chillum, pom, pom. But it has this flavor, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's again, it's too musical. You see, you're preparing us for the surprise. You see, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's happening now. <laughs> no, it's. Tasteful, but again, the yum pum. Once more, from the beginning. <laughs> the right, yes, but the right color, yeah. See, uh, that's why you know I don't play like this. To avoid the banality, you know. <laughs> It's too banal to play it with the right hand. Yeah. And then it's sort of, wh where does the pizzicato come from? <laughs> if you want, you, you need to be a bit of a magician here in this music, yes. You don't need to do. I mean, I'm just saying, yeah. But I'm just trying it but, out. Yeah, but equal three notes. Yeah. Again, it's Ravel, so none of this. It's three notes. He didn't care much, but how is it, you know, that the first, when we pluck the strings, first comes the G string, then D, then A. It was none of Ravel's concern that it come. It's our duty to create, you know, harmonies between three notes. Tim, pom, pom. And rhythm, I can't tell you, you know, beyond imagination. Pom, pom. And not only rhythm is that there must be energy through that rhythm. Kim, pum, pum, pum. Ah, yeah, when you, when you play forte, you play uh, faster. 
<laughs> yes, ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Imagine the, the real blues here, but you know, reminiscence of that. The charm. God forbid you're speeding up here. Don't speed up. provoke you to go faster but you don't go hold me hold me hold the reins of the horse yeah <laughs> yeah you see you take the tempo the beginning like the bolero you know like the famous bolero same idea yeah and tadam uh, where, where we stopped Yes, exactly. Yeah. So the tempo must be the same throughout the whole movement. The degree and the you know degree uh, it must be hotter here, of course. Mm -hmm. Must be burning hot, burning hot. Yeah, not to touch. Yeah, but the tempo is the same. Yeah. <laughs> that's the challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So hold your horses. Okay. Ta -da. Connection, connection. Then. Coming hot, but you must you must show the restraint, uh -huh. distance, yeah. But you know, ta pa pa pam, ta da da dam, pa dam pa dam, pi 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 pi, la dam pa dam. 
Yeah, just before. Uh, from uh, here, one bar before you. Boom, boom. Electrifying. Like a pantomima. Too musical. La da da da. Don't phrase. Da da. Ya da da da. Ba da ba ba da. Must be like steel, you know. Accent. Where 
are you going? I don't know. <laughs> the special color. Yeah. All the special colors that you can find in your pockets anywhere. Please. All right? Understood? Yeah? <laughs> Great. Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
Denise, thank you. Lovely playing. Um, I would love to hear more, and uh, if we have time, we'll go into development, yeah? Now, for now, we'll concentrate on exposition. I think the challenge of this piece is, um, if you treat this piece as a violin concerto, and I'm you know, pu putting it bl bluntly, violin concerto is the wrong word for that. I mean, it's just a, na just a name. And because you play the violin on this, yes, yeah. But basically, this, uh, some things should be, it's easier to play on piano. <laughs> For instance, Kumi-san, please play this. Yeah, this is a piano concerto, you see? Now, if you try to uh, uh, play on the violin like violinist, you fall out of style, to totally, because you don't have this, uh, you, know, w you know, if we just play, you know. Uh, it's a different thing, yeah? What we, we must adapt it for the violin, but have in mind, you know, these hammers of the clavier, yeah? Using left hand, yeah? Precision of the left hand. And the very precise right hand, yeah, legatissimo, yeah. So different functions of the left and right hand. That's you know just to uh, uh, put it really in perspective, everything, yeah. And then again, when we play the uh, lyrical uh, themes, you know, la da da it's better be sung than played. Right, so again, it's not violin, although violin as an instrument is closest to voice, arguably, yeah? Because it has strings, yeah? So it's, it's more, uh, you know, like wind instrument also, yeah? But with breathing, it's better be sung. So don't play, sing. And don't play violin, but play, yara, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is one side of this, one challenge, yeah? Second challenge is the idea of violin concerto as a, being a soloist accompanied by orchestra. Totally wrong here, you understand, as an idea, yeah? Because it's the, it starts with the orchestra, you know, the orchestra plays like two, three minutes before you. It sets the tempo, the mood, Introduction, you know, like the great overture of the opera, yeah? and then you must continue that. Of course, violinist brings another layer, another dimension to the piece, of course. Uh, but depending on the conductor, depending on the, uh, today we have the Kumi Philharmonic, yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, so we must adapt our playing to the piano and continue and interact with that. If we don't, Again, we fall out of style, and the concerto is not, will not happen. Yeah? And just by putting everything in perspective already puts uh, you in a different position, in the right sort of uh, shelf, if I may say so. Yeah? Okay, uh, so it's more of a symphony with violin part integrated. Yeah? Uh, violino obbligata, if you want. Yeah? So uh, in the second subject, you know, in the minor, the orchestra is a soloist and you're accompanying. And you must be in ideal world, you know, when you play in the same time, 
I would suggest you practicing like this, yeah? So you play yo do 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 and you hum the theme. And that's a good practice, yeah? Because then you'll be able to listen to the orchestra well and integrating your uh, counterpoint. It's not pure accompaniment. Again, you're providing the harmonies, you're very important, but you're secondary. And the way you play minor or major, when the orchestra is holding low notes, you must feel the gap, as if you are uh, improvising on that. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. So, and of course, when you have the theme, you listen to the orchestra, but you are uh, the you're the source. Okay, let's explore. The first beginning already, so out of the ordinary. Mm. And again, it's important to remind yourself always in music, uh, because many things we take for granted when we practice it many times, you know. We always have to remember this incredible beginning with the timpani, four. That's the music. Revolutionary, isn't it? Huh? Boom, 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 boom. Chiri-oro, lo-ri-ri-ri. Boom, 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 boom. Chiri. What can we say about these differences and this uh, uh, contrast? What is for you? First, that comes to your mind. It's the structure of the beginning. Structure. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, it comes through the whole movement, yes. Boom, boom. But if we speak about image, anything that comes to your mind? Boom, boom. It's timpani, yes, but it's also pulse, right? Boom, 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 be. Something that should be sustainable, yeah? Throughout, boom, 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 boom. So the first tempo, imagine the timpanist is taking uh, the tempo too fast for your taste. If he takes the yum, boom, 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 and takes it a la breve, yeah? Yum, boom, 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 be. You're forced to play the whole movement faster. You realize, yeah, how dependent you are. You cannot just you know the long pom 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 pi the orchestra plays in this tempo and then you take it slower. You can't do that. You must agree in the re rehearsal or in the dressing room with the conductor what tempo, what tempo is. Uh, you must come to somehow the agreement on that. It's very important. Yeah? Okay, but this is pulse. This is time. Yeah, if you want, long pom something that uh, uh, we're not in position to change. Yeah? Sustainable, sustainability. And what is the play? What is that theme for you? Maybe it's eternity, could be. Looking beyond horizon, without limits. Yeah, that's what comes to my mind, yeah? I don't know, you can call it in uh, other ways, you know, cosmic music, you know, no boundaries, anything. But it doesn't have this, you know, structure, as you say. That's why you must play this When you get to the theme, don't rush. Legatissimo. And the, the timpani will bring you back to the frame. Okay? So let's explore these uh, differences and dyna these dynamics also. 
piano, forte, cold, hot, black, white, and so on, and in between. And there's a lot of layers in between. Lovely. So please approach the violin solo. It's all perfect, in tune, great intonation. You know how much I suffered with this beginning. There's nothing to play, it's just octaves. You know, you make it in tune and it's, it works. But it didn't work for me somehow musically. When I was only 22, I started playing, for, for me, for myself, relatively late. Before that, I played most of the romantic uh, concertos. And then, I broke all my ribs with Beethoven because all of a sudden, so what do I do with this? I started to create music, started to be interesting without, it's pointless. It's just, it's very simple. Until one pianist that I worked with showed me, but this is a piano concerto, is it? Come here, please play for us. Yeah, with a, cli cli with a climax, yeah? But without crescendo. Surprise as forte. Pianissimo. It's absolute music, yeah? That has to be respected, yeah? So please play like piano. Very simple, without making too much music. And that's very difficult, believe me. <laughs> yes because the, your musicality will always show. So you must be simple. Yeah, not only that, but the orchestra descends, you know, la 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 and you continue, it's only a bridge. You know, the most important things already happened and will happen after that. So save yourself, spare the beauty of the sound and everything. Play more business-like, you know, exploring, warming up if you want. And that's okay that you don't shine right away. It's fine because you'll have another 40 minutes <laughs> after that. Yeah, you'll have your chance. <laughs> On the contrary, let, let everyone wonder, oh, what is, is, is Denise, uh, you know, usually we come to the concerts and she's so expressive, but all of a sudden she's just warming up uh, and everyone becomes curious. What's that about? And then when you come to the D major, <laughs> You shine like sunshine, yes. You show, you reveal your soul, your beauty, accumulated experience and, uh, uh, you know, uh, your spirituality. But before that, not. Mm -hmm. Grounded, and then piano, but concrete, concrete, yeah. Connection with the instrument, yeah. Yeah, you miss the connection, you know. The Connect with the uh, index finger. Yeah. Relax, 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 relax. Yes. yes. You know, 
know, I play a bow to create a tension there. I create problem for myself here, because out of there, uh, out of this position, I have to go here. So, mm. But also, I try to find a way out of the labyrinth, yeah? Mm. I tried, I didn't see the answer, then I go a different direction. Nothing, I become more determined. Eh? I see the light in the end of the tunnel, or is it a train coming? <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Yeah. Mm. And then the world is yours. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Uh, you see, psychologically, for myself, I create problems here. Mm. That's why I play in the uh, here and not uh, because here life is more simpler and also the music and effect on music. It's very psychological uh, concerto, both for you and to the audience. And you must communicate this complexity in this work. And the sharper you will do this, the more impressive your interpretation. And it must be obviously your interpretation, because there are many ways how to do it, yeah? I don't insist, insist on anything, yeah? But you just take the score and you explore. Okay, and take it always as if you're doing it, exploring for the first time in your life. So let's do it once more, last time. You climb the mountain, and you raise the flag. Are you in a rush? Because we are not. We have time. The mo more tension towards the end. And the release here. And it's all, above all, this is all played on dominant chord. So it must not be too relaxed. Yeah, because somewhere we are looking for this release. And the audience is uh, they're, they're with you. They are waiting for this release. So you must guide us and hold us. Huh? Last time. Lovely. But is it possible to play as if you're cla they say yara da 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 as stairs to heaven. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. But don't rush. Because also you have to calculate exact ritenuto, if there is a ritenuto, to be to be in the same tempo as the timpani starts. Basically speaking, you can't do that, yeah? That you can't do. And you can't do this. New tempo. No, it's not new. You, you guide us. The pulse is... Um, <laughs> ah, 
new technology, which is not new anymore. Okay, so the semi quavers. You introduce the triplet. Yeah. You see, so many things happening. So you shouldn't be bored here in any case, yeah? You have a lot to do. Uh, can we go here? Um, that was much better. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not too much crescendo. Intense, yes, but you are trying to find the way out, yeah? Literally. Question, yeah? Do you really want to be, be really fast here? Then you need to go back here. No, it's not logical, yeah? And it's more logical, right? Okay. Anyway, um, let's go from uh, from Okay, let's stop for a moment. Yeah, first of all, I would like to pay you a compliment. Yeah, generally, your intonation is very good, it's very good, but sometimes you fall into the extreme of being a little too sharp. And, you know, I studied with Professor Braun, and on, on the very first lesson, uh, he said to me, uh, Maxim, you know, only talented people play too sharp. <laughs> but I didn't expect you to be so talented. <laughs> <laughs> However, here, <laughs> you shouldn't play sharp, you know. The intonation has to be, you, do, do you play Sometimes quartets. Yeah, I do. That's it. You must play like you know, imagining there is a at least three people <laughs> besides you. Okay, so the, more temper, more temper. Yes, when you play cadenza, you can when you play alone, yeah, it's fine. But when you play with others and it's a dominant chord, you will fall out of the style, out of the vibrations. Okay, so la <laughs> ra Interruption in this theme. You made like you know three stops. Like you know, I, I don't like to take such you know buses that has many stops. Yeah, just one, you know, express, express. So uh, be careful, be careful. Your right hand when you change bows with the same uh, speed of the bow. Take time. You are alone here. Police. And you're angry. You don't like to be in the frame. You know, you, you don't like the limitations. And this is the fight of Beethoven. He, he hated limitations. And he fought through his life. And in his music, you see this here. World is beautiful. 
だらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだらだYou're a very nice person. I can see that right away. Yeah, too nice for, for this element. Relax, be grounded. Imagine the hairstyle of Beethoven on the paintings. Yes, yes. No, try. Yeah, there has to be transformation, you know? Yum. Let it be not so beautiful. That's fine. It's forgiving. It's better than to play neatly in tune. I mean, I don't mind being in tune. It must be, yes. <laughs> But I would prefer to give the character. That's it. <laughs> Bit is the most difficult one. You, you, know, you get out of the prison here, of your, your own imprisonment. The first time, yara da 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 Psychologically, you must think, okay, second time, I can get out of it. And it's a body language for that, yeah? So, you know, like uh, sports uh, people, you know? They have the bar and they have to jump over it, yeah? So they jump the first time, just a few millimeters, but the bar is off. So I'm gonna try the second time. And the second time, you, you achieve it, yeah? This ya ta 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 ta, it's variations. But this amazing, enormous, simply, you know, it's very simple, but it's very beautiful. This descending. So the principal notes, top, are more important. So, second time, ya ra da 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 da. Bring everyone to the... Uh... You bring the, uh, to the organ, you interact, you invite them in. Yeah, so once more. Yeah, can we, can we re remind ourselves of the piano concerto? Yeah. Introduction. But here is different drama. 
And like out of the blue, like the storm. But your reaction is different, it's minor. Yes. Yeah. That should, that should sound tragic to compare to major. Major, minor, two different planets, yeah? Two different sounds, different quality of, uh, uh, of the sound, yeah? There is certain sound aesthetics that belongs only to this concerto, to Beethoven style, yes, but especially to this piece, yeah? So, once more, major and then minor. <laughs> Don't give up. Just connect. Connect everything, yeah? Once more. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing the... Um, I'm missing the bottom notes, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, it should sound very nice and endearing, a little bit like child play. Yeah, slight variation. And then the audience must feel you must create a feeling as if this is going to go now for the next half an hour. See, yo, timpi, papa. You must raise everyone's smile. Yeah, titi, papa. But what is about to happen? is going to transform everyone and going to be really shocking experience. And please show us. What, what was that so scary? No, it's forte. Fortissimo, yeah? So you must you, you mustn't prepare everyone for the surprise, yeah? Immediately different speed of the bow. Uh, so from starting from yeah. Yeah? So once more. Mm. Now you're alone here. There is no orchestra, no boundaries. Don't play this as etude. Yeah. It's your improvisation, your time to improvise. Yeah. Directly. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But with that improvisation, you lead somewhere more important. To tranquilo, yeah. So, yara, uh, it's only a bridge, yeah. As if you go from one, uh, you know, in the U, uh, in the other United States, there are two twin cities: Minneapolis, Minnesota, uh, uh, Minneapolis, and St. Paul, right? So, but between there, I think there is bridge or something, yeah. So you go from one city to another, and that's the bridge between the. Uh, this element and the second subject, yeah? Okay, let's go. Yeah, 
So, uh, psychologically, I want to understand why you um, created a ritunuto, why you wish to play this uh, slower and also with slight delay, yeah? Because you see, uh, the orchestra playing, yeah? The woodwinds. Minor. You understand? The psychologically didn't make sense, yeah? So once more. Yeah, but then you, you played it uh, much slower than the than the kumi played, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Can you put everything in perspe perspective? Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. Easier than you think. This. You know. You don't need to. Uh, Don't over dramatize, yeah? Kumi san, please help us play this on the piano. It's just simple chromatics. Yes, it's very more pain. Okay, so can we go from uh, uh, your theme? And I'm gonna play for you and tell me what's wrong, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anything? Yes. Yes. You're always there. Huh? You're always there. I'm always there, exactly. And I shouldn't be. I should be, but you know, I should serve, yeah? So, be a good servant, a company. Yeah? Make everyone comfortable. Make everyone want to play for you. You're the soloist. And even body language, you know, you turn a few degrees to the uh, audiences here, you turn away from the orchestra, you already stand out. Yeah? you don't have to be present. You still need to articulate. You still need to be there. So more pressure into the string, so to come out of the orchestra, yeah? about these four notes. Again, here, you're you are the leader of uh, uh, everyone who, who plays with you. Now, in this particular case, it's strings, yeah? Yeah, 
Even that, you know, yara dara dara, first brick, one brick, yara dara, building a, you know, building, yeah, yara dara dara dara, yara dara dara, third step, step, la ra dara dara, yam pam 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 po, yara dara, la la chi la da di di di. You must see the structure, like with you know when you see like a bird, bird eye, bird view, you know. When you play, it's very short-sighted, yeah? So once more. Like on the piano, yeah, but da 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 you must understand and view uh, this concerto also from the point of uh, the conductor, from the point of orchestra, eh? from the score point of view. Mm. <laughs> To them, yep. Invite them in. Not yeah, but 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 Now I play. Now they play. Yeah. It's not chamber music. Yeah, and you know that. Yara da 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 da. Yeah, but please, no ritenuto. See, because they have to, you know, play. Yeah. Because they either must continue you or start new tempo. And then you will have a problem with the ensemble. Must come See, when the orchestra is, uh, is not dominating with the team, uh, you must come But here, encourage them to play more legato. Because if you play, they will be discouraged. I'm sure some members of the orchestra will, will, will not play as beautifully as they should. You must show them legato, that you want them to play legato. Yeah, so, so basically when you play with violins, your position must be this, then you must recognize then the celli, where, wherever, if they sit there or, or in different places, yeah? Learning.
starting with winds, you know, woodwind playing, because yeah, yeah, but da 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 Interact with them, yeah? Once more. It's my sixth hour playing cello. Double rehearsal, you see? I'm tired. Exhausted, and my family is waiting for me, <laughs> right? So, first violins, they play, you turn to them, and you know, now it's my turn to play, I'm the cellist, and then violinist doesn't turn to me or recognize a little bit, you know? You don't need to stare at them, but just acknowledge, acknowledge them. You know, I will forget anything, <laughs> and be so thankful to you, even without thinking, but it would make me happy. I would have like uh, endorphins. I'm sure, I'm sure it makes a difference. Think of everyone in the orchestra. <laughs> so shocking to everyone. So because music is not only when we play, but also when we don't. Magical Beethoven. Thank you very much. Thanks.